Hello again, my darling. We're back. I have completely messed up on the days, so I'm not going to say what day it is, but this is, on the whole, the 28-day orgasmic alchemy portal. And I don't have enough time to go back home, so we're going to have a new set and do it in the car. And um, so what has been coming up for you? Tell me, tell me all the things. And for me, um, you might remember in another video, if you've been watching, I realized that if I do a dating app and then I obviously will be talking about it on these vlogs and that makes the dating app a business expense. And I was like, Ooh, now I'm excited. Um, I was gonna wait until the new year to put it on the correct taxes and now it is a week into the new year and I still haven't done it. And, you know, for someone who spends a lot of time complaining and not accepting that she's single, I am not doing a lot of dating. And um, so I'm, you know, in the practice and and I was feeling into doing the dating app and the amount of tension and fear and anxiety that arose was surprising. Um, it felt like, it felt like my arms were filled with shame. It felt like they were like too heavy, heavy, too heavy and too like wobbly, like not enough strength to like pick them up, to like pick up my phone and get on an app. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so lots of like fear through my throat to my solar plexus. And um, I think there's more to, uh, no. You know what it is? It is excitement energy that I am, I am somewhere in my head has decided that that sensation is anxiety and fear when it is energy. It is energy and enthusiasm to do the damn thing. I... <laughs> I was like, I don't know what the fuck it is. I'm going to get on this video and I'm going to talk it out. And I think, I think that's the thing. It's, yeah. Oh my God. Thank you for listening. I, so yeah, there's fear, but that like, there's this, like, I don't mean, I don't know. I don't want to say it's like a fine line between fear and anxiety. I think they are so much the same thing that we can get them mixed up, that we can get them twisted. And we've been, I don't know, sort of taught that that feeling is something that's saying, no, don't do it. It's scary and it's wrong. When maybe when we tune into that sensation and recognize that like, oh, actually I can find pleasure in that sensation, then it can just be power. It can be energy to do the thing. And so since I am declaring that it is the energy and the enthusiasm and the excitement to do the thing, and I'm telling you, now I have to do it. And on the same note, there is, there is some, some stuff there. Like there's a little bit of stuff that maybe we could, we could talk out. Um, when, what piece of that is fear is saying to me, don't do it because you will not be chosen. Don't do it because you will not find your match. You will be rejected. And so save yourself. Okay. I hear that. And that is a, you know, a fairly valid response. Um, I, I am a, 
<laughs> a conundrum wrapped in a riddle. No, I am looking for something specific because I am, how can I say in a generous way, you, I'm unique, right? So I'm looking for something unique and I believe that it exists. So like in all odds, in all probability, there is more than one compatible person living in this area. And I am totally willing to believe that, to believe that there is someone wanting me just as much as I am wanting them. And it might be fun. It might be fun to go find him or at least put myself on a dating app and be accessible for him to find me. Cause actually that sounds way better. Cause I think we both know I won't spend that much time on the app. So he better find me and have some damn good photos. Um, and say something funny, sir, please say something funny because that is what will get me. And then, um, I realized on the dance floor today, so many realizations on the dance floor. Have you noticed? Um, if you are not dancing and you need a realization, come on, come on to the dance floor. Um, I, you know, I've been talking about what's going on in my digestion and this lack of dating situation. And I put together today how they're kind of going together. I have gained some weight this year and I had this understanding this morning that because I felt that it was unsafe to be in a relationship, at least in part, um, there's lots of, lots of parts of this, like the accepting what is stuff, um, is a big, big part. Um, but I, I'm now in a, a place in my body where I don't feel as sexy as I would like to. It's almost like a, I'm, please don't judge me for saying this, but I feel like I am too heavy at the moment and just too freaking uncomfortable most of the time to be with someone romantically, sexually. So I have, I've been keeping myself safe with this space I'm putting between me and the world. So that was an interesting realization. Um, and you know, I know people do that and I've worked with people who do that and I totally get it, but I didn't think that I was doing it. I have continually been like, I am open and ready and available. And so yes, I keep opening and I keep opening and I keep opening and becoming more available. Um, but there's, there's that stuff like that. Um, you know, and I look at women who are bigger than me and I imagine that they're having they're having sex. They're potentially having phenomenal sex. And, you know, I think so many of them look amazing and yeah, some more self judgment just for funsies. And, and it's a hair situation. Like I probably wouldn't date someone with a, this, sort of purple monstrosity. Um, and I'm willing to accept where I am. And I'm willing to date just so I can tell you all about it. So, <laughs> and thank you for holding me accountable. So I'm sending you tons of love and I will see you tomorrow.